In this video, we snorkel at the barrier reef in Belize, and then we explore a deserted resort island. I'm Bobby, and welcome to Sailing Doodles. Our patrons get early access to ad-free extended cut videos. In the previous video, we began in Placencia, Belize, and sailed to the beautiful island of Ranguana Key. This one you like. Yeah, take one. Oh, hello, mama. Yeah, it's very close. I mean, you can see the, the end. Oh, it's a rainbow all the way. The end is very close to us. Yeah. Oh, so beautiful. Pretty cool. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, it's, I mean, that's Can so close. Like great... We had a great time here at Rangwana last night. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. <laughs> but a uh, really cool spot. Not the most protected spot. It's a little rolly here, but so we may move on today. But pretty cool. Definitely worth a stop. They got the people that work there on the island are pretty awesome. Before departing, we decided to go for one more snorkel around the island of Ranguana Key. Belize is home to the second largest barrier reef in the world, and Ranguana Key is right on the barrier reef, which means it has crystal clear water, an abundance of sea life, which makes for some great snorkeling and diving. We get some serious red lines on our face, I believe. Well, the goggles don't fit either, so yeah. our noses are like yeah. gonna be bruised. Well, we wore these for like an hour, so. Yeah. It's one of my favorite places on this planet. It's so beautiful and perfect and calm and just natural. Yeah, pretty cool spot. The, the crew there is really friendly and helpful. It's a beautiful, tiny little island. I mean, like, people have lots on their house as big as that. Yeah. And uh, beautiful snorkeling around. Not the best anchorage, um, which is why we're leaving today. Uh, we're gonna go find a calm anchorage tonight because we've been kind of rolling last. Yeah. Week, so we need to sit still for a second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but really cool spot. We just went ahead. We went ashore and had lunch. Um, so it was 300 US for well, four dinners, four lunches, and basically all we could drink. Right. Um, not, that pretty, yeah, yeah, I mean, not that bad. Yeah. Not that bad. Yeah. And the staff is incredible. The food is very good. Pork chops, chicken. They'll do yeah. chi they'll do uh, seafood and stuff like that. Rice and beans. She just likes the dog. Yeah, and the dog shadow. Seriously, come out here and you'll see. You'll yeah. see why. And uh, I think normally, I don't know, from what we were told, it's like for uh, one of the rooms, it's 500 a night, all inclusive. All inclusive, and that includes excursions. Excursions, going yeah, snorkeling, diving, huge. and fishing, whatever. Typically, so. that's like 150, 250 yeah. per so. excursion. Give them a look, Ranguana Key. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's get out of here. We headed north about eight to 10 miles up to Rendezvous Key. Feeling in my bones, I could feel it in my face. The ladies were becoming pros at handling the anchor, and right away we were graced by some dolphins joining the boat. That was the perfect cherry on top of to our trip at Rangwana. Oh my god, I didn't expect them at all. Oh. Incredible, it was incredible. Si puedo hablar en español, lo hablo porque fue increíble. Only four knots of wind, so uh, we're motoring. It's been, it's going to be pretty light wind. I think pretty much the rest of the trip, uh, less than five to ten knots for sure. So it'll be hard to sail, but motoring around, uh, heading up to a group of islands up here, maybe rendezvous keys. We're, we're just going to go up there and see where the calmest space is. There's a group of islands, like four or five islands, that are all pretty close together. 
and we'll just kind of cruise around and try to find a calm anchorage because uh, the winds are out of the north right now, pretty light. Um, it's hard to find an anchorage for that because um, the wind's going to shift. So, yeah, it'll be. We'll try to find a good one. Well, I didn't film it, but you're getting the hang of it. That was pretty, basically you uh, handling the anchoring by yourself. First time? Yeah, you're doing good. Feel good, yeah. I yeah. mean, uh, I just need a little bit more of practice and then I'll just get confidence. Yeah, it's all about doing it enough to get confidence, yeah. so. I mean, anyways, you said that we're gonna turn. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be the one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so sure. and you're gonna be the one actually yeah. All right, the so tom starting tomorrow, we'll start switching then. Uh, well, I'll have, I'll, I'll drive with you. I'll actually sit back here while you drive next time. Mm -hmm. And then let the girls handle that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll see if we don't make a crash. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think it is. It's about beer thirty. Of we anchored in beautiful water next to Rendezvous Key. Apparently the island opened as a resort just prior to the pandemic, so it promptly closed and was basically abandoned. Although there are a couple caretakers living on the island. As you wish. <laughs> Not getting nervous. <laughs> Woo! Wow! That was a good one. It's true. an old pro at this point but uh, time to introduce the Spanish girls to uh, season one of sailing noodles where we ate a lot of spam so spam cheta pasta here it is I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the can and cut it up before they see it because coming out of the can it looks pretty gross <laughs> she's excited I'm ready to reminisce <laughs> oh yeah cat food like uh. <laughs> We were literally so poor the first season, this was our meal several days a week. Fry it up in a little olive oil, get it nice and crispy. Spam cheddar. All right, so everybody's trying the spam cheta, except for Geraldine. She is kind of a vegetarian, but- Mostly just picky. Mostly just picky. <laughs> Vamos? Right. Man. So I cooked the spam cheddar, and then she brought Geraldine brought the bottle of wine from home and or yeah, where? No, yeah, it was uh, the two of us. We got yeah. it uh, in Spain. Okay. This is a very good, I mean, like if there is uh, people who knows about uh, red wines or wines okay. in general or Spanish people, they will know that this is a, a good one. Ramon Bilbao. What is it? Ramon Bilbao. <laughs> oh, it <laughs> yeah. smells amazing. It smells amazing. Well, cheers, guys. Cheers. Salud. 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 Cheers. Uh, oh. oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Oh, my God. I just <laughs> melted. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah. that's pretty good. I'm this taking a picture a of that. Very 
just like home. Just like I remember it. <laughs> did we have any like last year? I don't know if we did. No, we didn't. Yeah. We didn't because you know we were stateside. So yeah. We were like forget that. All right. Oh, the the cheese is so good. Bon appetit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the cheese is good. <laughs> If you would like the extended, less censored version of this video, head over to patreon.com slash sailingdoodles and sign up. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already seen it, head over to my new channel. It's called Glamping Doodles and check out my newest video. I head to Amarillo, Texas and attempt to eat a 72 ounce, that's four and a half pounds of steak in less than one hour. <laughs>